A lot of people have been asking me, why are there only humans in the prison on Arkina 5? You have your real life reasons, and then you also have your lore reasons. From a production standpoint, I'm gonna guess that the Gilroy team just doesn't want to feature aliens in a main talking role. Because they either aren't comfortable with CGI characters, or characters who would require heavy amounts of makeup or other add-ons. So far, the aliens that do appear, appear in the peripherals of this show, and they follow the franchise's long history of using puppets, prosthetics, and CGI for their creation. Star Wars also has a history of using near-human aliens. These are just actors with bolted-on prosthetics, like the Twi'leks with their Lakus or the Zabroks with their horns on their heads. I believe ultimately that Andor is about the exploration of the characters on screen and the ordeals they go through as a result of the Empire's tyranny. And so, the Gilroy team probably believes that having all of these add-on layers placed on the actors might take away from the overall experience and distract people from what's going on in the scenes or make the characters less relatable or less believable. If this is the case, I think it's kind of a missed opportunity for Gilroy to try something outside of his normal comfort zone, although in his defense, tackling sci-fi fantasy is already something that he's not familiar with, and he's killing it. In universe, I can think of a few different reasons why there aren't any aliens in the prison. And one, it's because these prisons are designed for efficiency and there's a lot of standardization going on. And so it's possible that each prison is made for just one specific species. Humans are comfortable at certain temperatures and their bodies can tolerate a certain amount of shock. And their diet is also unique compared to other species as well. And maybe humans just get along better with one another, although I'm not sure that's the case actually. The weird thing here is though, we don't see near human species that should have very similar needs to humans. It is possible that the Empire has deemed humans to be better at certain tasks than others. In Legends, the Empire is very human centric and discriminates against aliens. We haven't really confirmed this in canon, but it's possible that other species like the Wookiees are sent to even more physically demanding labor camps, like working on the Death Star or in the mines of Kessel. I ultimately think that having a bunch of background alien characters that have speaking roles make the film feel more Star Wars, but there's a high risk and challenge to getting that done right, and if they don't do it the right way, it can look really terrible and cheesy. Maybe Tony Gilroy just needs a little bit more experience with this universe to get comfortable with adding a character like this. 